I'm about to reveal a bunch of different ways that you guys can make money with Power BI in 2022, so let's get started. First off, in case you're not entirely familiar with Power BI, this is pretty much a tool developed by Microsoft that helps businesses with data visualization. And as you might imagine, that is incredibly important in order to keep track of their numbers. We're talking about tracking your expenses, your income, there is a bunch of functionality behind it. But I don't really want this video to be a technical tutorial because there are a bunch of those out there. I mean, there are a bunch of different videos on YouTube, a bunch of different Different tutorials that you can watch for free in order to polish up your skills. So if you're looking to learn how to use Power BI, that's not going to be too difficult. But instead of doing that, instead of boring you guys with the technicalities, I'm going to focus on the ways you can make money with this tool, the earning opportunities, because there are a bunch of those as well. And so the first thing you need to do is learn how to actually use the software. And once again, there is so much information out there that I'm sure it is not going to be too difficult. If you're willing to put in the work to learn how to use this platform, then you're pretty much all set and you are perfectly qualified for all of these earning opportunities. And once you know your way around Power BI, here's what you can do. You can work as a freelancer. And I want you to take a look at all of these guys that are doing that exact thing. I mean, this user on Upwork has literally generated over $300,000 on the platform. And that is with only 56 jobs. That is because they are able to charge all the way up to $200 an hour for their expertise. They're a top rated seller as well because they are doing a great job. And that's not an isolated case. We can see a bunch of other freelancers who incredible revenue from Upwork alone. To put it very simply, all you gotta do is just list your services on freelancing websites such as Upwork.com, which is just one example, and then wait for people to discover you. But if you want to speed up the process instead of waiting around for people to discover your gig, what you can do is apply for projects. Once you have signed up for a free account on Upwork, you can just head over to the find work section and apply for different projects depending on your skill set. If the client thinks that you are a good match, then they are going to hire you, pay you for your services, and that's how you get the bag. But all in all, what you have to understand here is that you're pretty much tied to your income. If you're starting off and you don't really have that much previous experience with Power BI, then I think working as a freelancer is a great option. But if you want to take things to the next level, there is a way more powerful thing you can do where you're not tied to your income. It is pretty much a passive income stream once you set it in place. And I'm about to walk you through the process. I want you guys to take a look at this. I've just connected to youtube.com and I have searched for the keyword Power BI tutorial for beginners. Now, I'm using a piece of software that is called vidIQ, and that helps me with research on YouTube. It pretty much allows me to see the search volume around specific keywords. And let's actually do a quick experiment. I've just opened the keyword inspector, and now I'm going to type in Power BI. And let's see what kind of search traffic it gets. Well, guys, about 1 million searches. Now, that is insane. And the competition is not too bad either, which goes to show there is still room for more content. People are searching for tutorials about Power BI, and there is room for new content creators is putting out relevant videos and tutorials. And so if you've already gone through the learning process, if you already know your way around this tool, you know how to use Power BI in order to help businesses, what you can do in order to take things to the next level, instead of working as a freelancer or an Upwork, what you can do is teach other people. And let me tell you something, coaching can be incredibly profitable on the internet. And even these videos, let's just do the math here. What you have to understand is that these are pretty much tech tutorials, right? And from my previous experience with YouTube, I would say these guys are getting an RPM of a about $10. That means for every 1,000 views their videos generate, they are pulling about $10 in revenue. That's what they are getting. So that means this video alone has pretty much generated over $19,000, according to my calculations. Now, this is not a precise number, but I definitely think they have generated five figures, for sure. And that is with a single YouTube video. But here's something even more impressive than that. As you can see, this is a tutorial for beginners, which probably means they don't really go in depth. They're just covering some very basic features they are walking people through the process of using Power BI, which means there is not a lot of effort that goes into creating these sort of tutorials. If you have a basic understanding of how that platform works, how people can use Power BI, then you can certainly record one such video yourself as well. And it goes beyond that. If you want to take your income to the next level, there are a bunch of different other things you can do. You can launch your own course and promote it on your YouTube channel. You can also have a Patreon, for instance, where people can get access to some more advanced resources if they want to, if they want to take it to the next level, for instance. But more significantly than that, what you can do is record very similar tutorials for other pieces of software. And that is what this channel does. If we take a look at their most popular uploads, we're going to notice they have a bunch of beginner-friendly tutorials 
about all sorts of digital tools, such as Microsoft Office. I mean, take a look at this video. It is not even about how to use those apps. It is about how to get them. Here's another one, how to record your computer screen, how to make a video in PowerPoint, how to convert the PDF to Word. These are very basic, straight to the point, short tutorials. They're offering people some value. They're essentially answering people's questions. And that's why they're able to get such extreme traffic. But all in all, if we take a look at the about section, this channel has generated over 200 million views. Guys, that is an insane amount of money this channel has made and that is just for posting tech tutorials. And just to show you that this is not an isolated case, let's take a look at a few more examples. Let's just type in a very basic keyword. Let's say we are looking for how to turn a PDF file into a Word document or a Google Doc. Let's see if we can find any relevant search results. Well, we definitely can. I mean, these videos are getting hundreds upon hundreds of thousands of views, and this is just a one minute video. I mean, how much work do you think went into creating this? This channel probably just recorded their screen. It probably took them three minutes to record it and edit it and perhaps add some footage and all that. And that's how they probably made several thousand dollars. This is not rocket science. They're just answering people's questions. And so here's what you would need to do in order to replicate that. First off, you need to equip yourself with the proper tools. And from my experience, vidIQ is everything you need. It is absolutely free of charge, by the way. Now, they do have some premium packages and all of that, but you don't necessarily have to use them. What you can do is head over to the keyword inspector, as it's called, and search for a topic. Let's say we're interested in creating a tutorial, not about Power BI, but about PowerPoint. Well, we can just type that in, and that's going to display the search volume, what the competition is like, the overall score, and all of that useful information and a bunch of similar keywords too but guys you can literally take it to the next level instead of you having to record all of these tutorials about power bi about powerpoint microsoft word and whatnot what you can do is fully delegate the process you can outsource the work and that is called youtube automation you see instead of you having to be in front of the camera or record your voice into a microphone and put in the work you can hire someone else for that you can literally write the script for them and then they're going to record the voiceover they're going to record the screen of their computer while going through the app and so everything you would need is a voiceover and a video editor when it comes to the thumbnails these are very easy to create you can just connect to canva.com and get them done in a few minutes so here's what i would do i would connect to fiverr.com and search for a voiceover that's the easiest way to do it then you want to pick your language the gender you're interested in Let's say we're looking for a female voiceover in this case, and then you just wanna pick someone that you think is a good match. You can even listen to their audio preview for free. And once you've set that in place, once you have outsourced the work, that's how you get a lot of leverage. Because now instead of posting one video per day or one video every other day, you can post multiple videos per day. Once you've got hundreds of tech tutorials basically posted on your YouTube channel, you can get some sort of snowball effect rolling because these videos are going to generate views for several years. I mean, take a look at this. This video was posted four years ago. It is just a basic tutorial that is only one minute long and it is still getting views even in 2022, four years later. And I'm not even kidding. This is according to vidIQ. And ultimately, guys, once your channel starts getting some traction, some views, and perhaps you start building some sort of subscriber base, you can certainly take it to the next level and have some upsells in place as well, where you can teach people how to use all of these tools in depth. There's so many income streams you can set in place. But once again, you have to take it one step at a time. The first thing you got to do is learn how to use Power BI yourself. And all of these tutorials will help you out in order to do that. Then you can work as a freelancer for a short while by connecting to Fiverr, Upwork, TrueLancer.com, Freelancer.com and all of these other freelancing websites so that you can get a fair amount of money. And once you want to take it to the next level, you can set up a cash cow YouTube channel that is pretty much going to generate passive income for you. And of course, you can have upsells in place so you can make even more money. You can even have affiliate links in the description. There are so many different ways to make money with a YouTube channel. But now guys, in case you're not really sure how to automate the YouTube channel and how to set it in place, there is going to be a full guide down there in the description box. We're not going to reveal any secrets or anything like that because there are no secrets. We're just going to walk you through the process of starting an automated YouTube channel from scratch and scaling it up. So if you're interested in that, make sure to click the link down there in the description box. But what is for sure is that you now have everything you need to make this work and make money with Power BI in 2022. But at the end of the day, it is entirely up to you. If you're willing to put in the work and learn how to use this software, there is no reason why it wouldn't work. So that's it for now and thanks for watching.